Okay, two theorems for this lesson. We're going to just jot them down at the top. Of course, it's going to be very shorthanded. So just write key ideas. Okay, the first theorem is called the side, side, side similarity theorem. So we're just going to say SSS similarity theorem. So what that means is if two triangles have side, side, side proportional proportionality, then they are similar. So if two triangles have side, side, side proportionality, then they are similar. So for example, so a triangle here, and a triangle here, and let's say that this is 2, and this is 6, this is 2, and this is 6, and this is 3, and this is 9. So um, these should be related through multiplication or division, so if I can do 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9 then these guys are similar. So this is similar to this. Make a little similarity symbol. They're similar. Maybe I should make that darker. Okay, second one. The second one is side angle side similarity theorem. Side angle side similarity theorem. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, the sides would have to be proportional, so S and S would be proportional, and then the angle would be equal. So let me make it, try to abbreviate proportional. This would be proportional, and the angle would be equal. And it has to be an included angle. So what this would look like is, okay, here's a triangle. Here's one similar to it. It would have an equal angle, and then maybe this is one unit, this is two units, and let's say this is three units, and this is six. So these corresponding sides, one times two is two, three times two is six, and the included angle is equal, so these are similar. Okay, now we're going to apply it to the problems. Number one, it says in exercise one and two, determine whether JKL and RST is similar to ABC. So there's actually three triangles here. This is our like original, and we're seeing if these are similar to this. Um, so before I do anything, I'm gonna match up corresponding parts. So this corresponds with this, and it corresponds with this. Whoa, it's blurry. And this one corresponds with this and this and this one goes with this and this. Okay, so when I set up the ratios, I'm only going to put corresponding with corresponding. Okay, so first I'm going to compare this one to this one, just setting up the ratios. And again, just matching with matching, so yellow will go with yellow. So eight over seven equals, seven over six equals 12 over 11. So I'm comparing these two. So if these two are proportional, then when I take these fractions and divide them in the calculator, I should get the same number each time. So eight divided by seven, seven divided by six, 12 divided by 11, and I'm getting different numbers. They're similar, but they're definitely not exact same. So therefore, these two triangles are not similar. So this is not similar to that. Okay, now I'm gonna do this again with this one. Um, again, corresponding with corresponding. So eight over four for the yellow. 
7 over 3.5 and 12 over 6. Okay, and again, plug it into the calculator. Obviously, most of you probably don't need to plug it into the calculator. You can see that 8 divided by 4 is 2, 7 divided by 3.5 is 2, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. It all matches. So therefore, these two are proportional and they're similar. So, yay, this one is similar to that. <coughs> okay. Number two, same idea, but these triangles are in a different orientation. It's actually hard to see which one, which sides correspond with what. Um, if you ever get a situation where you're not sure what corresponds with what, just go back to um, these statements here. So in these, for example, um, J, K, the first two letters should correspond with R, S, and A, B. So that's what I'm going to do, J, K corresponds with RS and AB. And then doing that again. So now I'm gonna look at the last two letters. K, L, S, T, A, B. K, L, S, T, A, Oh, sorry, it's A, B, but B, C. Okay, and then the last part, maybe just to check and make sure I did everything right. The first and last letter, J, L, J, L, R, T, and A, C. Okay, now that I have it color-coded, I can set up the ratios and then decide if it's equal. So, yellow to yellow, 16 over 20, 14 over 17.5, and 20 over 25. So, in the calculator, 16 divided by 20, 14 divided by 17.5, and 20 divided by 25, it all comes out to 0.8. Yay. So therefore, those two are proportional. And then number two, we're just going to skip this one. This one doesn't work out, so no. But at this point, we're going to move on to the next type of problem. Okay, number three. It says find the value of x that makes these similar. So again, just max up corresponding to corresponding. This goes with this. This goes with this. And this matches this. Okay, we are going to set up proportions and then solve for x. Um, as long as we're consistent, we're good. I'm gonna do the first one to the second, so. 5 over 10 equals, then I'll do blue, 2x minus 1 over 14. Um, could have used pink? Yeah, I could have. It doesn't matter what you use as long as you're consistent. Then from here, cross multiply, 5 times 14, I believe it's 70. Yes, 70. And then this is where some people get stuck. What do they do here? Well, you would write it like this. And then distribute. Um, four is the same type of problem, so we'll skip that one and just go to the next type of problem. Number five. 
Five and six, determine whether the two triangles are similar. If they're similar, write a similarity statement and find the scale factor of triangle B to triangle A. This detail is important, B to A. So they're going from B to A this way, which is important for scale fa factor because this means B is the original and this one is the new. And remember with scale factor, it's new over the original. So little detail, but important. Okay, so corresponding parts looks like this goes with this, and this goes with this. Now we need to decide whether they are proportional. If it's proportional, it looks like we have side angle side, side angle side. I just need to make sure that it's proportional. So take in the new over the original, 12 over 9 equals 8 over 6 in the calculator 12 divided by 9 1.3 repeating 8 divided by 6 1.3 repeating awesome that means it's proportional side angle side so it has side angle side similarity and scale factor you could take 8 6 and simplify it to get four thirds, or you could do 1.3 repeating, same thing. But that's what they're looking for. Six, same problem, but it comes out to not be proportional here, so not similar. Then we're gonna go to the back. Okay, on the back we're just going to do one, but it's really important to actually, on the homework, this is where people got themselves stuck or they asked for help. So, definitely going over this, it says, show that the triangles are similar and write a similarity statement. So for number nine, the reason why people are getting stuck or maybe they don't see it unless I point it out is there's two triangles here. There's this one in here. And then there's a larger triangle on the outside right here. So two triangles. Um, I'm actually going to just take these out and put them over here because it's a little bit easier to look at the numbers. So we got the little one and then the bigger one. Okay, I need to see if they are similar. So I'm going to write out the dimensions of the smaller one. So the dimensions of the smaller one is 15, 18, and 16.5. And I'm just pulling that right over here. And then for the larger one, we're going to have to add some numbers together. 15 plus 5, which would be 20. This is 24. And then down here, 16.5 plus 5.5 is... What is it? 22? 22? 24. Wait. 6.5 plus 5.5. Oh, 22. Okay. Okay, so corresponding, this goes with this. This goes with this. I feel like we have like a coloring lesson going on. And then, what am I missing? Technically pink. Okay, pink with pink. Okay, so I'm going to set up my ratios and then see if they divide out to the same thing. So 15 over 20, 18 over 24, and 16.5 over 22. 15 divided by 20. Oh, I'm going to zoom out. 18 divided by 24, and 16.5 divided by 22. Cool. All 0.75. So therefore... These are similar and proportional. Um, last thing, it does want the similarity statement. So triangle HGJ is similar to triangle, and of course, got to do it in the same order, HFK. And that's it. OK, we're going to stop there. Um, you may need help with your homework. If you need help, just let me know. But take a laptop to your seat.